Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, I am sporting my own hair today, which means I have a topper to show you guys. So I am gonna be telling you all about a Raquel Welch piece from the Transformation Top Piece Collection. It's called Go All Out, and it is the 16 inch length. This also comes in a 10 inch. Now this is a synthetic, heat friendly topper. The color I'm showing you is called Golden Russet RL29-25. So this is definitely um, a more golden blonde. Probably won't blend as well with my bio hair, but we're just going to give it a try. The great thing about toppers is you don't have to stress about getting the exact perfect match with your hair. If this is a rooted piece, which it's not, but if you get a rooted piece that the root is pretty close to your natural hair color and you put a lighter piece on, then it's going to look like you have a beautiful um, salon highlight job. Like you just came out of the salon and got all these beautiful blonde highlights for summer. And the underneath hair that's going to show through, it's going to match the root, so it's going to look really natural. So if you are a first time topper shopper, don't stress out about it being the exact perfect color match. As long as you get close to the root, you should be good to go. This probably won't be the best match, but we're just going to give it a try. All right, this piece right here has a very um, lightweight kind of smaller um, base here. This is five and three quarter inches at the widest part by seven inches. You can see this is a pear shaped base. So it's going to give you some coverage here if this is where you're experiencing your hair loss all the way back. Now, this is where I have the most hair loss up here in the front. Um, I was wearing a topper, of course, earlier today, so I have some dark um, eyeshadow here in the front to help me blend um, where my bio hair and the topper meet. So it looks a little bit thicker in the front. But this is where I experience most of my hair loss. So this would be a great topper for me, depending on the density and how much hair I want. Um, I'm excited to give it a try. I've never tried this one before. Um, let's see, this has a mono base, so I can part it wherever I want to. And all right, let's put her on, let's see. Now it's important to remember with toppers, um, especially if it's one you've been wearing for a while and you've already put the part into it, I make this mistake sometimes, um, is matching the, um, the part on the topper with your part. You definitely want to put the topper straight and centered on your head and then fix your part. If you try to match up part to part, you may end up having a lopsided topper. So let's see what we can do with this. Now I usually, you know, you gotta pull out some hair in the front here and then let's get this clip, oh my goodness, right in the middle. Oh, this is gonna be very blonde. Okay, so we have that very front clip, we have these two sides and we have one in the back. All right. There we go. Now, of course, it's always a little um, wonky with the topper right out of the box. There's lots of playing that you need to do, um, adjustments that need to be made, things like that. But let's see. Let's see. I need to move it up a little bit here. Okay. Um, let's see here. Now, this looks like a box. <laughs> <laughs> on my head because it's just right out of um, the box itself. But what I would do if this were mine is I would get it wet and I would take a blow dryer and blow all of this back because it's very heavy in the front. So once it all goes back, it will um, look a little bit more natural. It won't be so heavy in the front. Um, but let's see. What I'm feeling here is I, okay, this is just my personal um, preference. People may have different preferences, but let me just tell you what I'm thinking. So right here in the front, it's um, the distance between the clips is too far for me. I'm going to need a little bit more security. So you have this front clip and then you don't have another clip until back here. So all of this area right here, uh, there's no security as you can see. It's kind of loosey-goosey on my head there, and then there's one in the back. You could potentially get your own clips and sew them into it um, to give you a little bit more security, but just be aware it just has those clips. I do like the front. Um, I think it's really 
It's really pretty here. It looks really natural. This is a synthetic piece, but it's not super shiny or super synthetic-y looking. I will say compared to my John Renault top style that I wear a lot, I'd say these fibers look a little bit more natural than the synthetic top style. So the fibers are beautiful. The color is beautiful. Um, just the fit of the topper up here, I don't know if I love. It is laying flat. I will say that too. It's not um, bulky or bunching or anything like that. So it's a nice flat laying topper. It would need some customization, like the mono top up here is pretty thick. So if you were gonna make a part, you might want to go in and pluck out a little bit of those hairs to kind of widen up the part um, and make it look a little bit more natural. So there's some things that you can do to it um, to make it look a little bit more like your hair and customize it a little more. The color isn't you know 100% for me, but this would be absolutely beautiful on a lighter blonde. All right, so the wonderful thing about toppers is you can pull them up off of your neck. And in the summertime, goodness, we definitely need to do that, don't we? So you can get, let me just pull this back. I have a hairband here. So toppers are great for that. Once you get, you know, more of your natural look up here, you can definitely do um, ponytails with them and updos. They are wonderful. For that like i said you just need to kind of work on that front piece a little bit and get it looking natural but overall the fibers feel great um the 16 inch length i love i think it's very natural not over the top but let me give you a, a 360. and again this is heat friendly so you could even put a little bit of wave in this and kind of curl it off of your face a little bit um, if it starts to get frizzy, you could definitely flatten out the ends with a lower heat, but there's lots of things you could do with this topper. You just have to be comfortable with the base size. Again, there are no clips um, from here, here to here. So you definitely want a little bit more, I would definitely want a little bit more security. I don't have a lot of hair up there for it to clip into. Um, so it would move around on me a little more than I would like. All right. There she is. She's a cute little topper. I might consider her in the future. If I could um, sew in some clips right here and get a little bit different color, the fibers feel great. She's a cute little piece. All right. So this is Raquel Welch's Go All Out in 16 inch. The color is Golden Russet. If you need her in your life, head on over to Wigs by Patty's Pearls.com. Again, Go All Out in color RL 2925, the Golden Russet. I will see you guys next time.